Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Joe, Joe. Hi, hi, Joe Shanders. Joe Shanders, thank you so much yeah. for holding that. And let's take a look. Joe, come on with me. What do we have here today? We have a 1970 Chevelle 454 SS, four-speed car with air conditioning. And in 1970, this was the Chevelle bomb. I mean, the 454, four-speed, all back to stock. Joe, how long have you had this car? I bought the car in 2003 and uh, restored the car, did a frame off restoration. I uh, had it back on the road back in, in 2005, uh, in July. 2005, July. The other thing that was always a real cool feature was the cowl induction. You know, that, that was the, the hood that made it. And uh, how does that hood operate, Joe? That hood operates off of a vacuum. Okay. Uh, vacuum solenoid inside the uh, underneath the hood. We'll Which take a wind? yeah. We'll take a look at that when we go under the hood. But that's that is fantastic. Let's take a look at the overall side of this car. And uh, what classic styling, right? If that doesn't say '70s Chevelle, nothing does. And let's look at one of the feature little plates that this was so 1970s too you would look at an ss but if it didn't say 454 you kind of went eh, there's another one <laughs> you know there's another one out there and you waited for the 454 almost like yeah. the the le mans the tempest the gto if it didn't say gto what's the point right and uh let me just zone in all the custom pieces that you've done here you could see the drums in the back and let's go to right. Joe in the in the front it's a factory disc brake in the front factory 1970 okay and that was important because you've got a 454 so yeah yeah you got to stop this thing love the, the detail there and let's take a look at the back classic looking tail and let's kind of feature the that rubber. Go ahead. Factory dash or uh, factory rear bumper pad that came stock back in 1970. And that one has never been touched. Nope. That's about as smooth as it gets. This is this is about as close as you can get to right off the factory showroom. It might even be better in some aspects. And these tips were those are factory from 1970 with dual exhaust. Okay, that looks great. Let's. Uh, Let's open the uh, let's open the door, and as we open the door, there's stay right there. There's always your little door tag for those of you who want to get some of that detail, and the vinyl insert with the all important SS. So when you're in it, you know what you're in. And as we go to the pedals, obviously we've got the clutch, and you can see the disc brakes there and we've got the steering wheel the seats have a nice little metal piece in there as we move back to see those there's a lot of room in the back and a wonderful console up the center the four speed and it was a Hearst four-speed right off the, right from the factory, Joe. Uh, back in '70, they had a Muncie shifter in there, but the Muncie shifter was, it was just a uh, real hard. Uh, Get closer, shift Joe. To use, so uh, every put in the Hearst shifter. Okay. So that's a slight modification. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. The tack, speedometer, the clock. What is, what is what is this here? Water? The amps. Amps, got it. And uh, really smooth dash, wraps around the driver nicely. Let's take a look under the hood. Love that cowl induction. And there you go. All back to original 
That looks great. Joe, tell me about the uh, the hood here. How does that how does that work? Uh, the column duction op operates off of an electric solenoid and vacuum. There's a vacuum pod there, so when you were to hammer on the gas pedal and floor it, yeah. there's a trap door in there that opens up and this seals around the hood and helps it suck in more air to the carburetor. Gotcha. How long have you had this car? Since uh, 2003. 2003. And you said a year and two month restoration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What what do you what kind of looks you get when you're driving this thing? I get a lot of looks. Five <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> I, I don't think you're not, not gonna get a thumb up with a car like this. I mean, this is just really you know people can appreciate when it comes kind of all the way back. Here's the horns up in the front here. They can kind of appreciate that, right? Yeah. Let's uh, let's shut that hood. We'll have you stand next to your car. Joe, so stand right there. Thanks for being in my car story. Thank you.